This is WENY News. Hey everyone, happy Friday and thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Kelly Meyer and here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Drivers might want to think twice before reaching for their phones, especially over this next week. Police in New York are cracking down on texting while driving. Governor Cuomo announced yesterday state troopers will aggressively go after drivers who are on their phones starting today. Police are stepping up their efforts for National Distracted Driving Awareness Month. Adults caught texting while driving face big fines, while young drivers could have their licenses suspended. With all this rain in the forecast, the Schmung County Office of Fire and Emergency Management is asking for your help to prevent flooding. They're urging residents to clear the storm drains near their homes. When storm drains are clogged with leaves and debris, excessive amounts of rainwater can't properly drain from streets and yards, and that causes urban flooding. It's been years in the making, and now a new animal shelter in Schuyler County is ready to open its doors. The Schuyler County Humane Society will unveil its new animal shelter today at 124 Marina Drive in Montour Falls. According to the leader, the project began back in 2009. The Humane Society spent $275,000 on the property and $625,000 on renovations. But now the new shelter is much bigger, with more space for reception, staff, and especially for the dogs and cats. The ribbon cutting is tonight at 5. The American Red Cross annual spring seasonings benefit is today. The event will be held from 5 to 9.30, 5.30 to 9.30 at the Corning Museum of Glass. This year's theme is a red, Marks, or a red tie affair, Marx Brothers style. Guests are asked to wear a red bow tie or red hair bow. And in true Marx Brothers fashion, wear your best mustache. The 2015 Simmons Rockwell Spirit of Humanity Award winner will also be announced at the event. For more information, head to your local Red Cross chapter. And parents and kids, listen up. The Wellsboro Montessori Children's Center is hosting their first annual Children's Film Festival this Saturday. Colleen and Emily from Mansfield University have done a lot to, of work to make the event possible, and they came on our show Tuesday to talk about it. They will show Pixar short films from 10 to noon at the Dean Center. It's free for anyone to attend. There will also be snacks, prize giveaways, and much more. All right, now we're going to check in with Craig. Hey, Craig, good morning. Hey, Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Finally, some real spring-like air uh, for today and then again for next week. We've had a warm front lift through the region. And look at the 70s and 80s as close as our nation's capital. Solid 60s for us today and for much of next week. Winds have switched around and we're going to the south and west now, so that's going to usher in that milder air. Now a little bit of a setback on Saturday as a cold front comes through and we'll get kind of a push of some cooler air over us Saturday uh, and maybe early Saturday or maybe a, a, a haphazard uh, sleet or rain shower, maybe a little wet snow, but that goes away for the afternoon and winds switch around to the northwest. It's breezy Saturday, low 50s, so kind of chilly, but better for Sunday as we start to tap into some more milder air heading into the second half of the weekend and into much of next week. 68 today, windy. Notice the breeze out of the south and west, 15 to 25 miles per hour with some higher gusts, 30, 35 miles per hour. And there will be at least some scattered showers and some rumbles of thunder coming through at some point through the day today. So here we go with first warning satellite Doppler radar. Warm front here, that's lifting through the region. And now we're kind of in this little area right in here where there's really not much going on. But we look to the west and we have the cold front. Same front, by the way, that produced um, over 300 reports of severe weather and those tornadoes yesterday across northern Illinois. This front right here will start to work its way towards us a little bit later today. And you can see this band of showers kind of stretched out along it. So will include the chance for some showers, maybe some thunder coming through as we head in through the afternoon. You can see that activity moving through at 5 o'clock. It's to the east uh, and should start to end. Now overnight tonight, remember, south winds will switch around to the north and west and start to cool us down. So that as we head into Saturday, you'll note future track early in the morning kind of painting on a little bit of uh, a little blue, maybe a little wintry mix early Saturday morning. Northwesterly winds Saturday. Some sun comes out for the afternoon, but temperatures only 50 to 55 on Saturday. Then we get into Sunday 
and I think we start to tap into more of a south wind. Lots of sunshine should occur for you on Sunday and highs a bit better in the low 60s. Scattered showers Monday 68 and sustained 60s right through next week. So there's that real spring like weather and it's going to last for more than two days. Kelly, have a good weekend. <laughs> You were just so excited about that. I, you should be. I know. It's so just going to last for more than two days. Yes. <laughs> so excited. Yeah. Summer's around the corner. We're, we're getting there. We're Spring's getting there. here. We'll have warmer temperatures. So thanks so much. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 36 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Kelly Meyer. Have a great Friday and wonderful weekend, everyone.